Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a special request video, and the topic of today is light baking. Okay, so what's light baking? Uh, when you're modeling in Maya and you're using lights, then typically these are dynamic lights, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, I'm just going to take a cube and I'm just going to set up a very simple and basic scene. So this is a wall, okay, and we'll just add some texture to it to give it some more realism. So right click face, select the face, right click assign new material, Lambert. I'm going to hit my checkered box here, select the file. And in my folder, I'm going to select uh, brick wall. Okay, there we go. I'm going to hit this guy so I can see what's going on. And it's not quite set up properly yet, so I'm just going to select that. And I'm going to go to my polygon menu, create UVs. We'll do automatic mapping, which is a bit better. And we'll just have to rotate that. So we're going to go to edit UVs, UV texture editor. And we're going to hit rotate and rotate. And there we go. Okay. Now, to give it a little bit more realism, I'm going to select it again. Hit that face. I'm going to go to my Lambert material that I created. And under bump mapping, I'm going to hit this checkered box. Once again, file. Uh, go up to file, folder. Select the same file. Okay. So this looks somewhat like a brick wall okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to lighting so polygon menu uh, create light and let's do a spotlight and let's aim that spotlight at our wall okay so I'm just gonna pull that out a little bit and I'm gonna hit seven on my keyboard so we can see what the light is doing okay all right so this is our light and I'll just adjust the cone angle a little bit uh, right here okay so but this light is dynamic meaning that if I select this wall and I hit E to rotate it the light will change as you can see all right now normally that's fine but if you're in a game engine right and you have a light that's stationary it's not going to change then there's no point in uh, adding all that strain to the system to render out every scene and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to bake this light information into the texture of our object. Okay, and that's what's called light baking. It saves a lot of render time in the game engine and you know, you can do the same thing with color. We're going to do it with light. Okay, pretty basic. What we're going to do is we're going to select this. We're going to go to our rendering menu and we're going to go up to lighting and shading and we're going to go to, uh, let's see, where do you go? Where do you go? Uh, batch bake mental ray. Okay. And we're going to hit the option box and then we have a few options. We can have all objects selected or just the selected ones. I only have one object, so I'm just going to leave it at all. Uh, I want to bake to texture. That's the idea. And I want to bake shadows, so light and shadows. All right. Now I'm just going to hit convert and give that a sec. All right. So now when I minimize this, if I now go into window outliner and I select my spotlight and I hit delete, the light should disappear on my wall, right? Okay. I delete it. And as you can see, it's still there. And now when I select my wall and I rotate it, the lighting information isn't changing. And that's all there's to it. So that is light baking. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys again. Bye.